Okay, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this, but I'll give it my best shot. Huawei S7. Um, I'm really excited about this, this little tablet because uh, it was meant to be the first Android tablet on the market. In, in a, actually, it wasn't. It was beaten to it. But now it's arrived and I've got it in my hands. It's interesting. I mean, it looks really gorgeous. It feels um, a lot more luxurious than, say, Samsung Galaxy Tab, which I reviewed for expanses.com. You're about to see it on this site somewhere um, recently. Um, <clears throat> unlike both the Galaxy Tab and the iPad, though, it's not... Uh, as responsive and luxurious to touch. The interface isn't quite there, and that's because it's got a resistive screen. Uh, it also might have something to do with the fact that it's running Android 2.1. Um, the bottom line is, as I move through the menus on this, it doesn't give me the kind of fluidity uh, and ease that I'm used to in tablet computers. More on that in a minute. Let me tell you what it has got. Uh, back and front-facing cameras, only two megapixel camera um, on, on the back, which is which again is a shame. Uh, this thing at the back isn't just bling, it's actually a little clicky sound. It's actually a little stand there, so you can uh, put this thing on your, on your desk or you know, on the little tray in front of you on an aeroplane or a train. And in, interesting, that does point towards uh, what I would say is, is the real selling point of this device. So it is relatively frustrating as an interface, but you can get stuff done, you can do what you need to do. Um, so here I go. I think this. If all you want is a tablet, this isn't the way to go. The S7 doesn't deliver on the fluidity that we're used to with tablets. But this device does have a market, and it's this. If you're after a multimedia tablet, okay, something, say, from Arcos or, or, or many other brands that offer you movies, TVs, and music in a slab like this, right? Um, if you were to go with the S7, you'd get that nice screen, good quality display, relatively good sound, but you'd also have the whole Android marketplace on top of that, the phone functionality, the cameras, and you could use it like a smartphone. Uh, that way, you wouldn't expect it to have a supremely fluid interface. You could sit it up like this in its very natty configuration, watch your content, and feel happy that if you needed to make phone calls, uh, 3G, Wi-Fi, all in this model, you could do so. So in that sense, I think the S7 is an interesting proposition.